Welcome to First World Satellite, once again. Look at this machine. As you can see, it's GT Media V8 Finder. It's GT Media Digital Satellite Finder. I'm turning on this satellite finder for you to know the problem with this finder. Look, I've turned on and look at it. Look at it. You see, the screen is not coming. As you can see, the screen is not coming. You see, I'm turning it off. You see, I'm turning it on again. Look at it. You see, the screen is not coming. But this video, I want you to know how to identify the problem. Whether the problem is a screen problem or uh, the problem is a software problem. Because normally when it happens like this, uh, many things, many, many things that uh, the, uh, the problem is the screen. And therefore, they reject the machine and then try to buy a new one because the, the, the screen is very expensive. But normally, it is not. It is a minor problem. Uh, when it happens like this, it can be a software problem. Most of the times, if it hasn't uh, fallen uh, or uh, hit something, uh, it could be a software problem. It can be software problem. Normally, most of the time, it is a software problem. But people reject it and think that is a, a hardware problem, which the screen is spoiled. The screen is damaged and the screen is not working. But today, I'm going to teach you how to identify the problem, whether it is a screen problem or a software problem. Look, look here. If you look at this side, you will see HDMI. You see DV out, then AV out, then AV in. You can see this hole. If you want to know that the problem is a screen problem, you just connect a U, uh, HDMI cable to this place and connect to a TV, connect the other end of the cable to a TV. Then, after con uh, connecting the HDMI cable to this place, this as you can see, to this place, to a TV with uh, with a TV. Then, you will simply turn it on like this and see whether it will display on the TV or not. If it displays on the TV, then truly it is telling you that you are having problem <coughs> with your screen. If it is in a state like this and you connect the HDMI cable uh, to, a, uh, to a TV uh, with this machine and uh, it appears on the TV screen, the GT Media appears on the TV screen, but doesn't uh, the picture doesn't display on the screen here. Then it is telling you that your problem is a screen problem. But if it doesn't display at all, it doesn't dis it, it, it doesn't display anything on the TV at all. It is telling you that your screen is not the problem but it is a software problem because I'm opening this for you to see how look at it you see yes the GT media finder is divided into two this board this board and this board this board contains the screen and the part look look at it. this this you see it contains the screen and the part and this this board contains the power and uh, uh, the main the mother the motherboard itself so i want to tell you that even if you remove this cable and and this uh, 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 and separate this 
from this at all. If you connect HDMI cable to this place, and if the board is okay, it will display on the TV screen. Telling you that your board is okay, but your screen is the problem. But if it is a software problem, even if you connect a, a HDMI cable to this place to your TV, <coughs> still it will not work. So I want you to show you uh, how to identify it as after I'm going to connect a cable to it and see whether it will display or not. If it doesn't display on the TV screen, it is telling me that it is not a screen problem, but it is a software problem. So I have to deal with the software. But if it displays on the TV screen, but doesn't display on the GT Media screen, then it is telling me that my screen is having a problem. Welcome to First Man Satellite. Please subscribe and share. So look at it. I have another JT Media here. You see, I have separated the screen. You see, I have separated the, the, the screen and the pad, you see, from the uh, main board like this. I just want to show you that even without the screen, if the board is okay, it's my show on television. So I'm turning it on and look on the television to see whether, look, look. I've turned it on. Let's see. You see, GT Media. GT Media. GT Media. You see, yes. Look at it. It is without the screen. You see, it is displaying. This is telling you that if it is like this, uh, it is displaying on the TV, uh, like this without the screen but uh, it's not displaying on the uh, finder's screen self then it is telling you that the finder uh, the, 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 the finder screen is, ha is damaged is having a problem so this is how to identify a screen problem so I'm coming to put this in my this finder which is not uh, turn, uh, what is not displaying? I'm coming to put the USB in it to see whether it will also display on the screen to know that my problem is a screen problem or my problem is a software problem. Welcome to First Man Satellite. So I'm coming to do exactly that now. You see like this? As I've told you already, you fix it in the USB like this. Now I'm turning it on. If it is a screen problem, it will display on the TV. But if it is not screen problem, nothing will show. You see? It is blank. Still blank on the screen, on the GTS media screen, uh, screen, and blank on the television too. This one is telling you that the problem is not a, a screen problem. It's, the screen is not damaged. The problem is a software problem. So now I'm coming to flash the IC. So this is how to identify a screen problem. Welcome to First Man Satellite. Please subscribe and share my channel to motivate me. Thank you.